Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we're continuing our second attempt for the legendary Iron Man Exquisite Timing speedrun where we're trying to beat the game in four and a half months on the highest difficulty with Iron Man and permanent dark events enabled. Would be world's first if I can pull it off, but it is indeed a pretty, pretty difficult task. Uh, we definitely need more scientists. So the game uh, was giving us uh, those, or at least the option, time to neutralize a field commander and get Olga Ignatieva. Um, and the only thing we need to do is kill the admin general. Nine enemies are there. Uh, one enemy is unknown, so that is either a mech or um, a chosen one. And we're going to go with Hayward and Bones plus um, Hogbite, who is now finally uh, moved up to Corporal. And we got Corporal Hansen helping us out yet another time. So it is of absolute importance for us to not trip and continue being strong. This is a must win mission. And if we play our cards right, this hopefully is also going to be a flawless mission uh, so that no one gets injured. All right, we landed. Just got to kill that officer. We're tracking the Advent General and his escorts, but we don't have an exact fix on their location. Sweep the area and eliminate the target along with any other hostile. Well, it's a damn big away. map, that's for sure. Maybe not that big. Ah, medium size. But we're fighting in a train station, and I never really I liked uh, to fight in those train stations. Usually they are pretty cramped, for starters. Secondly, it's really difficult to get a good engagement going that does not expose you. And then on top of it, um, there is a good chance that we will have line of sight issues. So like, like I said, the trains are good if you have the right weaponry, uh, if you have grappling hooks and the like, but for just playing it with basic uh, equipment, they are not as good. There was there was a unit over here, but it might have also been just them, to be honest. I will go. Moving into position. See, and this is already the first nasty surprise. If you were to move in any of the typical um, cover spots, well, bad luck for you. You have my trust. Headed there now. Good. Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch. And by the way, the unknown enemy is a mech, as I was suspecting it. Not the worst position, to be honest. We might be able to do something with it. That's affirmative. So let's hypothetically say we're hitting those. It would, of course, be a kill um, for the advent because uh, damage plus falling damage equals death. And it would be a pretty solid chunk of armor gone for the Mac. We would, however, start the timer for the uh, general. I don't mind that per se. Like I said, it's super hard to maneuver around um, this train to begin with. Luckily, as per the usual, the mechs are charging in. On the move. Moving up. That, yep. armor's tough. that was okay. And this oh, is on. potentially a kill. There we go. Nice. Good uh, start for the mission. I've recovered the item. Got a nice parry, got an auto loader, um, and got some extra focus. So let's continue with our approach. Plus, we got some better line of sight uh, with that huge 
hole. Putting ourselves over here so that none of the enemy packs can use uh, the letter. The aliens are going to try and extract the general from the AO. Don't let him get on board that ship. Good, so that's now the calculated disadvantage of the very aggressive approach. Gotta get the general down. Enemies are moving in. Okay, fair enough. Moving. Theoretically got another nice grenade over here. Before we're doing anything hot, um, too rushed. No, we will need the shrapnel for the actual boss. But I want to make sure that we know how many extra packs are in there. The invaders send up the this is our objective. There is our target, which is perfect. Yeah, I can't hit all of the cover at once. It's unfortunately not possible. So we're focusing on the Viper. Here, catch. Let's try to get it out of cover. Worked like a charm. Unfortunately, it's pretty evasive. This here could be a kill. It is. So lucky us. We can parry. Which will be perfect for the stun lancer. As the stun lancer will charge in and try to lance us. Lance's, Lance's got a lance. <sighs> well, so much for the flawless mission. Hayward will spend some time in the sick bay. get closer to the general there's some nice extra damage um, how can we get closer probably can't really and that's okay. Rock and roll. So let's try to give Hayward here the kill. Enemy down. All right, that worked out well. As you order, Commander. There is a single stun lancer there. Not sure if it's an accurate position of him. I suspect he's already near um, the commander. I will reposition. So let's reposition ourselves over here. This should not trigger anything. Alright, an overwatch. Well, Hopbite, good job. You triggered yet another pack. Gotta deal with the fallout of that.
And we most certainly will need to deal with the Advent Commander leaving. Okay, Whew. much closer mission than I would have expected it would be. Moving up into full cover. Let's shred the mech. Look like a charm. I'm running low on ammo. This, by the way, could be a kill. Two, four, six. Yep, that's a kill. That might trigger the Advent Commander, not sure. Yep, it did. And it started to lure him deeper in. Sixty-one percent. Okay, good. Uh, means we can heal ourselves, just in case we're going to be hit again. And let's hit this guy. All right. Out of turns here. I think this here is the safest bet. All right, stun lancer down. That's good. What is Hardbite going to do? Potentially move out of line of sight. That's a big fat fuck you turn. We can kill with a single with a, ch a single charge. That's was a double move, and that is a single move plus a shot into a full cover. Oh, it didn't work out. Cool. I'm under fire. <clears throat> Good. We gotta deal with this here first. Placing the weapon. <clears throat> and we're going to do a bit of a double explosion. That should be 11 points of damage. The most we can do in one turn. Moving up, because we want to kill the commander. There we go, perfect. That buys us a lot of time. Menace one five kill confirmed. That's how it's done. We need to clear the area of any remaining hostiles. Easy peasy. We allow them to recover the general's body. There we go, mini vulnerability, and just an extremely angry hog bite. That's all we need. Reloading. And let's see if we 50 50 this guy. Yeah, we did. Elsewise, we could have just parried. 
<sighs> Not the best mission. I'm still miffed that uh, I got hit once. But it was okay. The gameplay was okay. Good. Let's hope that it's going to be less than 15 days. Lightly wounded. Come on. Well, at least we got another promotion out of it. Lightning Hands, not exactly what I was hoping for. Good, we're going with Overcharge. Lightning Hands isn't bad per se. It's actually mm, okay for him. But Blade Storm would have been so much better. Good, we got some trooper corpses, sectored corpse, advanced outer loader. Another impressive effort, Commander. My expectations were high, and yet you have exceeded them. Good. Uh, Shadow, uh, Shadow Brain Project just went down by one day, which is perfect. So you can already see how much difference uh, the one scientist makes. With the laboratory, it's going to be even better. I have high hopes for that. Uh, let's take a look at our available forces. I mean, Hayward, it's fine. We'll we'll get there. Renman is coming back soon. It's not the end of the world having Hayward um, injured. It's really not the end of the world. Oh my gosh, another scientist. Yes, please. Holy shit, that is valuable. So, so good. I appreciate the new lab facilities, Commander. And look at that. Look at that. Additional uh, research station. Oh, yeah, it's worth the three. Not even going to think about it. We don't have any capacity to spare, which means we can't expand our facilities further. Oh my god, is that worth it? So, let's see. We immediately dumped it by two further days. Just due to the incredibly busy uh, scientists here. And we effectively currently have six scientists. When we get the other scientists, that's the seven scientists. So, if I can't do it with that amount of scientists, I would say it's borderline impossible to do it. We have a really, really strong opening now. Let's continue clearing the debris here. We have a really strong opening. If this is not carrying us, I don't know what will. Short double check. Did I upgrade everything, or could it be upgraded it twice? Just one second. So let's say we're putting another one here. Because that is different in Long War. In Long War you can upgrade it three times. I think here it's only one more time. All right, fair enough. Got everything going. Low income, doesn't matter. We're good, we're golden. Renman just came back from the wounded. Uh, that is perfect. And next big thing is the uh, Shadow um, Project, um, Shadow Lab Project. That is actually bad. Alien alloy padding uh, means we got to deal with more armor. That stinks, specifically for our low-grade weapons. And remember, since it's permanent, we can't get rid of it. I'm keeping tabs on all our operations, Commander. Our people are standing by for your orders. In the field, 
The Codex appears as an anomalous form in an almost constant state of flux, seemingly only present in our world for milliseconds at a time. Good. However, it was apparently um... not immune to the effects of conventional weaponry, having dissipated before leaving behind this object. Complete the Codex brain coordinates. Let's see. We gotta be a bit lucky, hopefully. New objective added. Well, that's pretty much the opposite of being I've lucky. Our latest operational objectives, Commander. Holy the shit! Are you serious? Codex, Look at that. That's Remote like what? Region. One, two, three, four blips away. We'll need to contact the local resistance forces if we want to get a closer look. Oh my lord. I'm not even sure if uh, there was a possibility to get such a far spawn. That changes our priorities quite a bit. Wow, okay. Hmm. Good, so... We definitely got to complete those um, missions as well. The question is, given the continent bonus of pursuit of knowledge, we could just make contact with both of these re regions after having the scientist. And we would get like what? Additional 20% boost of research time. Not too bad. Yeah, I think that's the right play. We might be hampered um, and have too little intel. Like, that's a lot of intel that we need in order to get there. Holy shit, the game got us good. The game got us really good here. Yeah, more supplies. Fair enough, that's all good and fine. But boy, oh boy, we also need to make a uh, uh, build for more uh, resistant con um, contacts. Commander, we've established contact with the local resistance, and we can move on the advent black side on your order. We should make sure our troops are fully equipped and ready for a tough mission. Well, this bonus here with um, uh, contact with new regions is made instantly is a nice bonus, but we already have it thanks to the resistance order. And as you can see, it is a great bonus. Commander, the resistance forces we just contacted in this region have provided us all the intel they have on the Chosen actively working in the area. So, you would come to strike at me. I eagerly Suit up, all armor and vest projects in the Proving Grounds are completed instantly. See, that's not too bad. Um, I guess uh, this year speaks for rebuilding up the Proving Grounds uh, later, because we can get exosuits for free uh, relatively quick. Mm, so that's not bad. The next mission should probably, before doing something else, um, be the Blackside facility. Stops the advent counter, um, gets us 125 um, supplies. Can already start uh, creating a tower here. That's not too bad either. And yeah, if we do the mission now, the tired soldiers will be ready after that mission has elapsed. So I think that that concludes today's episode. Next one will be the Black Side facility. Let's just double check in our armory for potential targets. Um, we got a Reaper. We got a Grenadier. We got a Templar. And we can take Noxus uh, with us as a specialist. That is a team which I can work with. Yeah, I think we're going to be fine. That's a team I can work with. In terms of timing, mid of May, we nicely sped up the research. Holy shit, I mean, encrypted um, uh, codex, and uh, we're getting that done even prior to the end of May, which means we have the entirety of June, and 
uh, half of July still. That's fine. My bigger concern now is really getting enough intel uh, to uh, con uh, contact all of the other regions. So we're looking at what? Um, 160, 240, and another 160. Oh no, we are putting. That's a good question. Commander, as of right now, we don't have No, we're putting uh, the resistance network here because we want to have the bonus. Area. So we're looking at 80, 160, and then maybe even 240 because we don't have the time to build another one. Uh, so best case, 80, 160, another 80. <clears throat> so that's 320 could get there we will need to have an intel mission or two so that's not completely <clears throat> completely unrealistic at this quote at this rate we would uh, I can't see the research times but I would guess I would guess we're rocking a single um, a single data cube or a single um, info cube in like three to five days because we have effectively seven scientists so uh, we should be relatively fast in doing that and it'll be around 90 intel so it's kind of 10 research days that might um, need to be sacrificed Yeah, I, th I think we're still fine, but uh, definitely the coordinates have um, have made it much, much harder for us to reach the uh, situation. If we're getting another bad spawn, then this run is GG. All right, ending the mission here, guys. Uh, let me know what you think. RNG sometimes can be your friend, but it sometimes also can be your enemy. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content, as always, leave a like um, or a comment down below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. Thank you and take care. Bye-bye.